If you've ever found yourself sitting in traffic on Atlanta's perimeter, you can celebrate a very important birthday for our city this week. It is one of the headlines in today's segment that we call, Have You Heard? Good job, guy. <laughs> Flag it down. We were told to downplay that. I don't know why, because we have fun. We're saying, have you heard? So we're going to just be real matter of fact about it. Hey, have you heard? It's a landmark. You've probably yeah. spent more hours riding on than in your own home. I don't know about that. Mm. Well, maybe. Some of you, that's right. I-285 just turned... 50, I share a birthday you with I-285. <laughs> the big 5-0. The first driver cruised around the perimeter on October 15th, 1969, famously opening with Governor Lester Maddox bursting through a paper ribbon on the hood of a car. It took 11 years and $90 million to finish wow. this 64 miles of interstate around Atlanta. Okay, when I first moved oh, yeah. here, and I have no sense of direction, yeah. I was living in Decatur, I dropped my brother off at the airport, and I don't know what happened, that was before Waze. Yes. I just ended up in Sandy Springs, okay. near the I mall. I struggle with Waze. And I struggle with Waze right? too, and I just yeah. kept going around and around <laughs> and around. I just, but and you then learned finally that perimeter I, pretty well. I sure or, did, yeah. I sure did. I ended up having, Training a, ground. Yeah, having to get out, you know, pull over. Yeah ask for help, but um, yeah, yes. 50 years old. 50 years old. There were a lot of people out there with long commutes, and I think all you did yesterday on the news, they were kind of like, what are your favorite memories on the And people are like, Fa <laughs> favorite memories, let me lot. think that, right. Yeah, I have a straight shot, you know, I'm kind of near you, I just yeah. go down Piedmont, I'm in the little Peachtree Hills, if anyone wants to visit. Right, right. But yeah, I'm, I'm just like you. 10 minutes on the road. I know. So I don't have to mess with that. I know, but for those of you who do, yeah. if you could just try to, Think of this very special occasion when you're stuck in traffic, maybe this afternoon. Um, happy birthday. Lighten, yeah, happy birthday might lighten up your heart, um, lighten your load, yeah. your mental load. I don't Let's know. Switch it up. I've been listening to Audible when I'm in traffic, <laughs> yes. people, and I'm enjoying it. Very true. You got the podcast going. Um, I've been listening to lots of self help. This girl Amen. is just, I am just, wow, I'm so evolved. The self help. Instead of like the true crime stories and stuff, you you get inspired with the self help. I, I have that. Okay. Yes, I haven't hit up the true crime. Cr okay. Do you true still have Sirius? Yeah. Sirius satellite. Yes. It did not expire. Okay. I sure great. Did. Great. Yes. Because I used to listen to that Pop 2K station. In oh, I do too. That's okay. what the kids like. Great. Cool. Okay. All right. All right. Let's switch yes. to fast food. Okay. This is. Yeah. Ridiculous, if Ooh. you ask me. An employee at Panera was recently fired, I'm gonna say it again, fired, oh, yeah. for posting a video of how the chain makes their signature mac and cheese. Take a look. Oh my gosh, and this TikTok video, it's racked up nearly one million likes. You can see the frozen plastic packet of mac and cheese dropped into a boiler, cut open, and poured into a bowl to be served. Okay, it's not how it's made, guys. I'm gonna defend this poor employee. Panera told the Washington Post that the video is indeed real, but it defended its preparation methods, and I'm with them, explaining its mac and cheese is still a patently Panera product made off-site with our proprietary recipe developed by chefs. They say it's shipped frozen to our bakery cafes, mm, frozen, which right. of course allows us to avoid using preservatives which don't meet the clean standards. Okay. So I agree with all that. Uh -huh. I mean, what do, you, what do we think how our food gets to point A to point B? Yeah. It's frozen, whatever. I, she should not have been fired for it. Oh, um, she's fired for releasing that? Oh, we just said that. Yes. Dang. Okay. I mean, I, I guess they're Lots looking at it like, obviously, it's sparked some controversy. Yeah. I, I don't know. But, I mean, but like maybe you reprimanded, said, if... but there was nothing... Hold well, on, what was that? A couple of Breaking oh. news. But but if if we're gonna expect, you're right, like what do you expect, right? You're a fast moving restaurant, you gotta move. Um, but in full transparency, if she released the video, why fire her like that's those right. are your processes. Thank you. Okay. Right. That's the process. Yeah. It's safer. They get that yes. get that delicious mac and cheese made, they freeze yeah. it. It's again, it's going from point A to point B. Oh, I, phone I out while while cooking might have been the issue that she's kind of okay. out and about. That might have been yeah, just right. that she's texting away. I will say That is a good point. But but Panera's branding also is very fresh, like and so then you see that and you're kind of like, wait a minute, I thought you're so anyway, I yesterday I actually went there. And I tried the mac and cheese. You did? I went there yesterday. I never do that. I think my little nephew's the only one who's had it. And wow, delightful. You got <laughs> Trent. But, but then I saw that package after. Oh, if you've heavens. ever worked in a restaurant, yeah. come on. They can't do everything absolutely fresh in the minute. Clearly. It's frozen. <laughs> Trent. I got that memo loud and clear. <laughs> What's our last All one? All right, maybe she should have yeah. been on her phone, and you're right. I'm sorry, I didn't <laughs> think about that. Okay, speaking of food, Trent, when you're out at a restaurant, is it ever okay to ask the waiter yeah. or management to turn the music down? A new etiquette column by Bon Appetit says, no, guys, 
don't do it. The column also says you should never send back food just because you don't like it. What? But if there's something that's actually wrong with it, you are in the clear. Bon Appetit also says it's fine uh, to take the complimentary bread home with you. Just don't, just leave the basket. That makes sense. Okay, <laughs> hold on. I'm gonna go, yeah. do you agree with these? Let me, okay, wait. Take home the bread. I've never taken home the bread. What if it's a good loaf? Well, there are some good Yummers. loaves. Around. I still wouldn't even think to do it. Well, I guess it's, yeah, okay. Just throw it in a napkin and go home. But I, we, we asked specifically about the music question. So we got a ton of comments on our Facebook page saying either yes. Oh, you're seeing them at the bottom of your screen. Oh, Susan um, weighed from in. Susan. Uh, she I did, did it tonight in a very sweet way. But Susan, did they yeah. do it, I wonder? Some said they did kind of turn it down a smidge, is what you got to say, is what the etiquette article said. Or um, some said no, Ooh, it's not they possible. turned it completely off. Oh, yeah. no. And when our waitress came back, what happened? She would, uh, oh. uh, it's, uh, I, I want to know that you. story. Yeah. Uh, maybe once. I know it's maybe kind once, of a, yeah. a tricky thing because they're cr trying to create a certain vibe. Yeah. But if it is too loud in your... Yeah. If you I can't hear your... I yeah. know, but then again, there Makes are sense. certain restaurants that I do know uh -huh. are very loud, and the older I get, if I haven't seen my girlfriend uh -huh. in a while, I really yeah. will say, maybe we should go someplace a little cozier. Oh, oh my yeah, God, I'm getting go so somewhere. old. No, but get, again, no. I mean. <laughs> just go somewhere if, else, yeah. Right. Okay, love it. If everybody started imposing their opinion, I mean, come on now. The well, I know, it's up and down. You come gotta on. get that on the it's volume. it's too hot, okay. it's too cold, it's too yes. loud, it's too uh, quiet. <laughs> come on, guys, relax, okay. I like your eye today. I, what? Like your eye. Oh my God, I'll tell Siobhan. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Get over here. You're so sweet. Yeah. Okay.